You know what? I could. I really could. But see, the problem is, I don't want to. I don't want to, so so that's why. Love you, bye. All right, guys. I got home. It wasn't raining. And look, I got my grass cut. I still need to weed whack all along the fence. And you'll see it back here a little bit more. I was going to grab the camera, but my uh, lawnmower was running real rough, probably because the gas is sold. See, I still got to go along the fence line with the weed whacker, but I think I need to get new gas first because that thing was running terrible, but I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to go do anything. I just wanted to get it done, essentially. So it took me 15 minutes, uh, probably 20 minutes because the lawnmower was running like crap, plus it was so long that I had to keep stopping and you know lifting it up and letting it blow out uh whatever but yeah I finally got a cut it, that's good because on my way home it was thundering clouds are building so I got home in time but like for the next four days there's like an 80 percent chance of uh rain every day today is Wednesday from now all the way through Sunday and the guy's supposed to come and cut my front yard which is getting pretty long too but I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it Saturday because it's supposed to rain all day so we'll have to say on that the palm tree is doing good it loves the water it loves the water all these all these things love the water except my sago there it still hasn't come back yet still hasn't come back Pretty sure it's dead. I think I told you that already. But uh, that's it, guys. Just got home from work. Cut the grass. It's about 5:35 right now. I'm gonna have some hot dogs for dinner. But right now, I'm just gonna have a big glass of water, a bottle of water, and just relax for about half hour, 45 minutes. Go and take a shower. Just relax tonight. I'm gonna start my editing for. Um, Friday's video which you've probably already seen like three weeks ago <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight I'm gonna be working in the future or in the past tonight in the past or future I don't know what it is I'm working now which is in the future of what you're actually going to see in a couple days does that make sense I don't know if you figure it out, let me know down in the comments what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Later. What is up, everybody? Today, I have a project. I found this clock online. It's one of those, it's not an ordinary clock. And this is it right here. Now, what it is, it's one of those clocks that you put on a wall. And it's got, you know, like the... Numbers and everything are really, really large. Like this one, I can go up to like a, a three foot radius out from the center, but I'm gonna put it right in this area here between the TV and the wall. So I can't really go that wide with it right now. Um, but this should be interesting. <laughs> it should be very interesting. I found this online, I thought it was kind of cool. It, it's called a decor, like a decor type of clock, you know, decorative type of clock, where it's not an actual clock itself, it's just just the main part with the hands, and then the rest are all like stickers that go on the wall all the way around, and you put this thing here on the clock face, and it'll tell you exactly where the mark to uh, put on your little stickers, which are these things here. You know, it's got numbers, got the words, you know, four, six, whatever. So, anyway, I'm going to set you up here. And I'm going to attempt <laughs> to put this up on the wall and see how it goes. So, let me get you set up, and here we go.
copyright. Hey, right, I think I'm missing some pieces here. <laughs> I think I'm missing a sheet of the number things here because I'm missing the 11 and I'm missing the 7. And I'm not really sure why. They are not on these two sheets that were here. Now I could probably make an 11 by cutting out some areas here. But I don't think I can make a 7. I don't have enough room to make a 7. Very interesting. Well, I'm going to go for, try to figure this out. And then I'll show you when I'm done. But it's missing the 7 and it's missing the 11. Kind of weird. But I think it looks kind of cool so far. Once I get the hands on there and all that stuff, I think it'll look pretty cool. Well, you'll see that as soon as I'm done figuring this out. Which, in your case, will probably be right now. <laughs> Okay, I reread the instructions. <laughs> Apparently, these dots are supposed to go sporadically <laughs> through there. But I got it fixed. For the seven, I got a dot. For the eight, I got two dots. And for the 11 up there, I got a dot. So, I mean, thinking it over, I probably could have done it a little bit differently. But I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks really cool. It's a giant clock on a wall. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. It was only, uh, what did I pay for this? It wasn't much. I think it was like $31 for the kit. It's a do-it-yourself kit. Uh, let's see what I got here. It's a do-it-yourself clock kit. And yeah, I think that looks pretty, <laughs> that actually does look, look kind of cool. And it's actually keeping time. It is keeping time. I put it. I put the battery in and set the set the clock about five minutes ago, and it's it is moving up. It's 1:45 right now, so I'm gonna watch it. I mean, I might have to play with the hands a little bit. The hands didn't go on really good, in my opinion. I mean, they slid on the bracket, but they still seemed a little loose. So I'm gonna watch it the next several hours as it goes around. But yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That is really cool. All right, project done for the day. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I did a bunch of video editing this morning for uh, Brandon's wedding thing. I got all the songs that they wanted downloaded and finished up the rehearsal video. Now all I have left is the wedding video. And that one's going to take a little while because that has, what was it, 100 and, 150, 70, excuse me, video clips that I got to put together. Put the music in there and all that stuff. Probably still going to be a couple months. But I got three of them done. Three to four. Three to four are done. i um, going to see if I can get some pictures from them. From their photographer. To incorporate into the wedding video. So it's still going to be a little while. But I'll get it done. And like I said, that's only for them. I'm just very, very happy that I'm doing it for them. It's actually kind of cool. I love I, I enjoy doing this and re-watching everything again. It's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to go... Clean this all up here. I think I'm going to save that template. In case I move, I can put it up on the wall again. Later. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a rainy day here. Just like it is all around the world, pretty much. Because Queen Elizabeth died today. It's kind of sad. I mean, yeah, she was 96 years old, but, you know, still, you don't like to see that happening. She, she ruled England long before I was born. Pretty amazing. Really amazing. Anyway, the president has ordered flags to go to half-staff in federal buildings. Now, since I've found the loophole in the tax law and part of my house is considered a federal office so I can lower my taxes, I need to put my flag at half staff. So I'm going to take this opportunity because I still haven't changed it yet, but I'm going to change it now. It's torn on the end. So I'm going to take that one down, put the new one on, put it up to the top, and then down to half staff because that's the way you're supposed to do it. So I'm going to do that now in honor of the queen. Set you up, and here we go.
And as you can see, this one is <laughs> kind of tore up here a little bit. But I will fold that up. It will go on the pile and possibly this winter I will fold it up proper. I'm just folding it like this now because it's wet. I'm just going to set it out, let it dry. And this winter probably when I start a fire out there again, I've got several flags already that to uh, properly uh, dispose of or whatever. And uh, I'll do that this winter. But... Yeah, there it is. Now that rain is going to help take out all those folds and it will look normal in about a day or so. I don't like putting new flags up though on a rainy day, but you know, if I want to keep my federal tax break on my house, I have to fly it at half staff. It's considered a federal building. So that's that for now guys. It is Friday afternoon, Thursday afternoon. What is it? Thursday? It is Thursday afternoon. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. Watch, so I've been watching a lot of the Queen stuff on Sky News. Actually, very interesting. A lot of the stuff she did that, you know, didn't know about and all that stuff. Very impressive. Very impressive and very interesting. It's going to be very interesting to watch uh, the next week or so as they go through the whole process of, uh, you know, burying her and all that kind of stuff. And luckily, <laughs> with my job now, I still get to watch it at work, so be kind of cool to watch i think you know once in a lifetime thing you're probably never going to see another thing like it probably more than likely but uh yeah anyway that, that's it guys i'm going to relax for now watch a little bit of tv and then i'll figure out what i want to make for dinner later check this out guys this is really weird i just came out here to uh take my garbage out and look at the top of my garbage can here those are all dead love bugs now there's a bunch of them flying around here there's another one on the top of that can but you can see them flying around but i have never seen this happen before i don't know why this happened those are all dead those are all dead that is very weird how they're all concentrated on top of the garbage can like that there's one in case you guys don't know exactly what they are they're joined at the butt there's a couple of them Actually, it's four of them. Two and two. They're joined at the butt. That's how they mate. And then they fly around. They look for front ends of cars or trucks and commit suicide, most of them. But the ones that don't do that, they find grass, wood pile, something, and they lay their eggs in there. And then this is September. So come May, the eggs will hatch and they'll all fly out again. And then the same process over and over. But yeah, that is very weird. I've never seen anything like that happen before. That is very strange. Very strange. It's like they were all flying and just died and landed on top of the can. Very weird. Very weird. What is up, everybody? It is a beautiful... It's only 93 degrees today. The flag is still at half-staff for the queen because my house is considered a federal building. Tax purposes. Um, just wanted to tell you guys today, man, I don't know what happened today, but somebody flipped a switch at work. And man, I got all these jobs in the morning all at once. I still didn't finish them. I was working all day long on these things. <clears throat> I still didn't finish. I got to go in tomorrow morning, finish up the last of it. And wow, that was like really weird. I got like nine jobs today for some reason. Just all of a sudden out of blue. I had to do one over. <laughs> Because I had the wrong settings set up to send it to the printer and it kind of cut off the edges, which good thing I caught it. But I did catch it after I printed the whole thing, so I had to go back and redo the whole thing. So, you know, it is what it is It happened. So I just I threw a whole bunch of paper away and uh, good thing is nobody's going to know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man, it, it just like, man, it was, it was busy today and I actually, did, I liked it. Because it made the day go by really fast. I actually feel kind of good right now because I actually did something today at work. But then again, I didn't like it because I missed sitting down and watching TV all day. <laughs> so it's like I can't win. I'm not going to be able to satisfy myself, I guess. But actually, if it stays half as busy as it was today, that would be good. Because that will pretty much cover half little bit more than half of my day and if i space it out i can make it last the whole day because i was going one right after the other just boom 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 i had 
two copiers going boom 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 finish 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 doing this doing that it was uh it was a bit different it was very very different put it that way but anyway just wanted to share that with you had a pretty good day today pretty good day today kind of in a good mood i'm not grumpy like i normally am when i get home because i sat around and did nothing all day but it is what it is and we'll see what happens later what is up everybody that was this week's around the house i put that clock up on my wall now that's been up there for a while now by the time you're seeing this but for 32 dollars now it did take uh, I think like about two and a half weeks for me to get that because it came from England. Which I didn't know when I ordered it, but it came from England. So it took a while to go through customs and all that stuff and I got it. And uh, that actually is kind of really neat. The more it's up there and the more I look at it, it's, it's actually kind of really cool. I really like that a lot. And for, you know, 32 bucks and I think it took me... Maybe a total, let's say maybe a half hour to put it up by the time I got, you know, all the words, you know, one, two, three, four, the dots, and then had to figure out that I was supposed to put dots in the other places and everything because, you know, once you read the directions, you figure out how to do stuff. And, uh, yeah, that actually turned out really good. I really like that. It's in a perfect spot. The color of the wall um also makes it really good because it kind of stands out on that like light gold color and then it's got the you know the blue triangle around the tv and the black tv frame i think it i think it turned out really good i think it turned out really good yeah but i'm very happy the way that turned out uh let's see other than that uh this week in this video i did finally get my grass cut it went like about four to five weeks um without getting cut um the love bugs came and went. Those have been gone now for yeah, about three weeks or whatever. But the, all them ones dead on my can there, that was like really weird because they were all on top of the can. And if you know about the love bugs, they're very light. They're they're like a feather, very light. So for all of them to be congregated on top of the can like that, that was just that was very strange. It was a very strange thing. I don't know if they landed there and got burned because the top of the can was so hot or if they were just flying and died and landed there is like really weird really weird i i can't explain that one i cannot explain that one but uh yeah other than that um you seen i lowered my flag when the queen died because you know my house is a federal building you know tax purposes thing um yeah so that was down until uh I put it back up, what was it, the, after her funeral was over, I believe it was, is uh, when they said you can put it back up. So it was down for, I think it was like 10 days at half staff. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that was that. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's about it. I mean, not, not really a whole lot going on. Um, lately because, you know, I've been working, it's been raining a lot. You all know, in this video it has, it hasn't lately, but when all these were filmed, it, it was raining every single day, practically every single day. And it, that's not normal for down here as much as we had, which is what, what made the hurricane worse because the ground was so saturated to begin with. And then we got, you know, 26 inches of rain in, you know, 12 hours. So, yeah, the water had no place to go. That's why there was so much flooding and everything around here. Things are still flooded. I went to my buddy's house the other day, and the corner of his street is still flooded down there. They had it closed off um, a week prior to that because it was too deep across the street. You couldn't drive through it. But when I went there the other day, it was just, you know, tire height, you know, bottom of the car, tire height. So they were letting cars drive through it real slow. But, yeah, it's still flooded. A lot of places are still flooded. A lot of places are still flooded. The river is going down. St. John's River, it's now, it's not at a major flood uh, state anymore. It's down to a moderate up by the northern ends. And then the southern end of it, because St. John flows north, um, the southern end is just about normal. A little bit high is what they're calling it, but it's just about normal. But as it goes further north, like up here by me, it's still at a moderate flood stage. So... 
another couple weeks, probably I'll be back pretty much normal, and uh, everybody will move on. So that's it, guys. That's it for this week's Around the House. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video on here on YouTube, please. That helps the algorithm. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Come back Tuesday for another taste test challenge. If I don't see you then, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks, guys.